Welcome to our video market overview, where we look at the futures market from a volume and technical analysis perspective, focusing on market news, economic data. In this review we look at the crude oil WTI futures contract. Ticker, CL. Exchange, NYMEX. Let's highlight important volume support and resistance levels. July 3rd. Saudi Arabia will extend its production cut by 1 million BPD until August. Russia will also cut oil exports by 500,000 barrels of oil per day. Oil traders were prepared for a summer drop in oil demand. Published economic data confirmed a decline in global manufacturing activity in China and Europe. U.S. production also fell in June, reaching levels last seen during the initial wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. July 4. U.S. markets will be closed on Tuesday due to the country's Independence Day celebrations. July 5. Minutes of the Federal Open Market Committee. July 6. 1530 Unemployment Report. 1800 Crude Oil Reserves. On Friday, expect the non-farm payrolls report at the start of the trading session. Let's look at the daily CL ticker chart for the current August contract. Each bar is represented by a double profile, where on the left, the volume profile and on the right, the delta profile, is the bid-ask volume difference by price. The histogram below the chart, total volume and delta. Pay attention to those days when the trading volume exceeded 240,000 contracts. The imbalance is on the buyer's side. Bulls showed themselves the most on June 22nd when a barrel of oil could be bought for $1.69 to 70. CL went down to $68. Within three days, C, D, E, the buyer formed a volume support range of 67.90 to 68.60. Main volume area 69.20 to 69.80. But I recommend to focus more on the volume support range of 70 to 70.80. Note the volume imbalance of buyers in this range since June 20th. Price level of the VWAP indicator 70. The price is currently above the indicator, which also highlights the bullish volume pressure on the price. Resistance is in the 72 to 72.50 range. Considering that the level is formed at the high of the contract, it is worth considering if you plan to place a sell in case of renewed seller activity in this range. Let's take a look at when and at what prices the big oil traders have traded from last week to this day. The big trades map above 30 contracts is plotted on the tick chart. Buyers are marked in green. Circles and sellers in red. If you compare whose activity was more prolonged and effective, no doubt the bulls acted confidently. The most aggressive ones are marked with a rectangle. The more expensive the price per barrel of oil, the more active the bulls acted. Note the activity since June 30th. If the price stays below 69 this week, it will mean that the bears did not believe in weak demand for oil products. Key news tabloids are focusing on weak demand for oil products, declining U.S., Chinese and European manufacturing activity and OPEC oil production cuts. On the world stocks map, screen for the month, and this is separately the China stocks map. The world stock market rally contradicts this data, while lower oil production by OPEC countries will strengthen demand, and the oil price might well start rising soon. Volume analysis of the CL futures contract showed that the big players are expecting growth and are ready to start buying as soon as strong price impulses emerge. Thank you for watching, discuss and ask questions in the comments to this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends on Facebook.